What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the Yeezy 500, Granite. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, it lets you know I'm in the right direction of showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys want news videos coming ahead of time, if you follow me on Instagram, at Davis. So these did actually drop today. Unfortunately, we do get a $10 increase on these. They went up from 200 to 210. Um, everything is just going up right now in the USA. But anyway, we got a 500 at the top of the box here. Side of the box is blank. The other side is blank as well. On the back, it says Yeezy 500 made by Adidas. All right, we get the logo down there. I did go with a size 9.5 on these. Okay, resale is currently going for about 250-ish at the moment. Now, um, we get a brand new colorway here, but as you guys know, with the Yeezy 500, it seems like all colors that they have came out with kind of are in the same family. So if you guys look at this, it does look black, but then from certain angles, it does look kind of grayish or brownish, you know what I mean? But you know, that's what we're just used to with the 500s by now. You know, all colors are basically like in the same family. We do get some regular tissue paper in there. Okay, we take out this shoe and this shoe is very nice. It's like an ashy black and gray. So if this sole looks familiar, it comes from Kobe's signature shoe, the Crazy Eights, which is pretty fire. So this shoe has some inspiration from that. But uh, let's start off with the bottom of the shoe, guys. So the bottom of the shoe here, we get this granite color all throughout the bottom of the shoe. All right, pretty fire. No markings down there. Okay, coming towards the outside of the shoe here, we do get some Addy Premium technology on the outsole on the outside of the shoe. It says it right there, pretty dope. Okay, same thing on the inside, but then we get the Adidas logo in there. All right, now coming back to the outside here, we get like this rubber strip of the granite color. Okay, moving up a little bit higher than that, we get a mixture of leather, some mesh, and uh, we get some more suede just under that. Okay. Also on the outside of the shoe here, we get some more of the suede going towards the front of the toe box right there. So it's like a half and half type of thing. All right, show you guys the inside here. Same thing, we get that rubber on the bottom, some suede, some mesh, a little bit of leather. Okay, now coming towards the front of the toe box here, we get this suede all throughout the front of the toe box. My opinion, you do not need uh, shoe trees in these, but you know, if you do wanna wear them in them, you can. But in my opinion, you don't really need it for any easy for that matter. But um, very nice and clean suede on these. Now, if you guys look at the mud guard on here, we get the granite color coming up from the bottom, that rubber. And it says Adidas right there on the front. Pretty fire. All right, now we only do get one pair of laces on these towards the top of the tongue. We get some leather on top and on the back, we get some mesh behind there. Okay, pretty fire. I'm gonna show you guys with the flashlight everywhere that these shoes are 3M, which is a pretty dope feature about these. I'm gonna show you guys where that is right now. Now, um, Show you guys the inside of the shoe here. On the inside of the shoe, it comes in that granite color. Okay, we do get some tissue inserts inside of here. And uh, on the insole, it does say Yeezy Ortholite with the Adidas stripes on there. And that's in white. Okay. On the bottom of the sole is green, red, and yellow. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the back of the shoes here. On the back at the top, we get some mesh up there. Then moving a little bit further down, we get some suede. And then we get that rubber back there on the back as well. Now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, and that's what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, and normally get nine and a half in all my shoes. Except for 350s and 450, I believe you need to go up a full size on those. But I did go up in a half size in these, and I must say they are a little tight in my opinion. Now you can go true to size on these, but I think Minimum, you need to go up half a size. But well, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box. So I'm building around, but if you guys can't tell, my big toe is right here. Have a little bit of space in there. But um, when I was walking around doing the on feet uh, portion for you guys, I feel like my big toe just touching here a lot. So I think I might even need to go up another half a size. So I think you might even need to go up a full size on these because I feel the top of my toe rubbing right here. But this size nine and a half, and this is a half size up. Now, um, other than that, it's not tight in this area on the tied up pair 
or on a loose up or on a loose pair it's not tight here at all i just feel my big toe like really just touching the top of this right here um so i, I really don't like that at all like if you guys look as soon as i touch it that's my foot you know what i mean so uh, I really don't like that at all, but I do have a little bit of space in there, just a tiny bit, as you guys can see. But um, probably the most comfortable Yeezy on foot, because you know with the 350s, the knitting, after a while, if you're wearing that all day, it just, you know, sucks onto your feet. Like that knitting just, you know, grabs onto you. But this one is has to be the most comfortable, in my opinion, um, second to the 350. But I think you need to go up half size minimum and maybe even a full size up on these guys. So I'm about to show you guys these. So I'm about to show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.